Hello everyone, my name is Gerard Khalil the Completionist, and today I'm going to show you the ropes on advanced tips and tricks for the game For Honor, specifically focusing on the Viking faction and its associated classes. Let's dive right on in! The inspiration of For Honor's fighting system stems from real-life combat techniques, but its roots are from the world of stage combat, a type of theatrical training to teach performers how to battle for performances, such as musicals, plays, and even television and film. In stage combat, there are four main quadrants to attack within. Your left shoulder, your right shoulder, your right leg, your left leg, and a special fifth zone being the area above your head. For Honor takes that exact same concept, but simplifies it into three sections. The left, the right, and straight above you. But in For Honor, we're battling for supreme reign for the land of Valkenheim. And none of it is fake or staged. Let's go over combat basics. For Honor is not a hack and slash kind of game. You cannot simply run into battle and do fantastical, whimsical, superhero fighting moves. Well, you can, but you have to learn when and where to use them. Using the lock on button, you can lock onto your opponent and engage in combat. Using the right analog stick, you'll have to position what zone you're going to strike in. Light attack will have you swing your weapon faster but do less damage. Whereas using your heavy attack, your attack will be slower but do a lot more damage. If you are on the receiving end of the attacks, you can block by simply using the right analog stick to match your opponent's weapon position. When in doubt, the enemy's attack will glow red in the incoming zone. If you're fast enough, not only can you block it, but with the right timing, you can attack back right away. If you don't think you're going to react quickly enough with a block, you can also dodge from side to side or back up with a dash using the dodge button and a direction. Within this back and forth combat, you've got the ability to bash your opponents with a stun. This stun can lead to one of two things. One, your next hit will not show the enemy which zone you are attacking from. Two, you can execute a throw by stunning them a second time in a row. Throwing your enemy is crucial to creating distance if you're getting bodied hard. For instance, if you're playing the role of the raider, you can literally pick up the enemy and toss them off a cliff. On the other hand, you cannot just button mash your way to victory. You've got a stamina meter that severely determines your success in combat. The management of this bar may be the most important aspect of the game. The heavier the attack that gets blocked, the more stamina that gets drained. And when you're out of stamina, everything slows down, it goes black and white, and you can barely defend yourself. The nice thing is, you can monitor your opponent's stamina as well, so if you're heavily relying on defense, you can go in for attacks once their meters are drained. Now let's get real advanced. Within the factions of Vikings, Samurai, and Knights, all of them have four different classes, each with various movesets and stats. No one class is the same, and their exact movesets dramatically change their functions. And when I mean movesets, I'm talking full-on fighting game movesets. Combos that can be chained with other combos, which can be chained into throws, providing you have enough stamina. The Raiders' movesets are well-rounded but designed for big damage. With an unstoppable double swing, the Raiders' area of effect attack can chop down multiple enemies to pieces all at once. The Warlord class focuses on the long haul, buffing his allies and really capitalizing when their opponent is out of stamina. The Berserker is probably one of the more difficult classes, relying on attacks that take little to no stamina, but they have heavily reduced range. They have to be really in the face of their opponent. Some of their moves are very reliant on keeping a combo chain going. Definitely the most squishy of the faction, Berserker players will undoubtedly be the glass cannon for the Vikings. And then there's the Valkyrie, which hands down has the most diverse moveset. Think of this character as a combination of a few of the other classes in one. With their shield and spear, they can keep their distance while dealing high damage. The takeaway from all these classes is that their movesets are not too difficult to learn. 
If you open up the moveset menu and practice, you can get really good to the point where you'll make your opponents want to learn the character that you're currently using. All right, so all this sounds fine and dandy, but there are going to be moments when it's going to be a bit overwhelming for you. You're going to have to battle multiple enemies at a time. In a four-on-one situation, you're more than likely going to die. However, when it's two-on-one, there's a chance you can come out on top thanks to the revenge system. The revenge meter builds based on the attacks both dealt and received. But when you are attacked by multiple people, it builds faster, giving you the ability to go into revenge mode. It balances out the gameplay for when players feel the need to gang up on you when you're just too damn good to be taken one on one. In each type of mode, your individual character can level up from 1 to 4. Leveling happens when you kill an enemy, pick up a friend, or maintain a point for your team. Leveling up also gives you access to new moves called feints. These abilities can be built to be actions that you take in battle, such as new skills, temporary speed or strength buffs, and sometimes even a projectile. Before every round, you can pick your feints any way you see fit, and leveling online will unlock more for you to choose from. Those are my advanced tips and tricks for the game For Honor. Starting out, this game may seem a bit overwhelming, but trust me, it is so much fun. This game is easy to play, but if you master it, whoo, you're gonna take down some fools. So, what do you say? Join me and my Viking brothers and sisters as we fight for our homeland. Sign up for the beta today. I've been Gerard Khalil the Completionist, and remember, for the people, for Volkenheim, for honor! Hopefully you guys learned some advanced battle tips and strategies for the game For Honor. If you like this video, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button and leave a comment. If you want to learn more about the deep dive online faction modes that await for you in For Honor, check out my video right here. Or maybe you're a bit concerned on how to handle those moments in which it's 1v2 or 1v3. Check out Moose's video on that right here. Thank you guys for watching.